This is a Warmar Trojan engine made by a company called War Boys and Smart. The company incidentally has a very interesting history which I won't go into detail at the moment. If you want to know more about it you have to go and buy Colin Laker, one of Colin Laker's books on the subject. But basically, there was no Mr. Warboys. There was a Mr. Smart, who was their marketing person. And the engineer was a certain Geoffrey Bowman Jenkins. Geoffrey Bowman Jenkins, of course, has later became famous for Bowman models. When I acquired the engine, it was far from complete. I needed a lot of work done on it. The base was missing, or at least there was a, a lump of wood it was sitting on. The burner was missing, safety valve was missing. Uh, the pipe work needed resoldering, and there was a problem with the piston in, in the uh, cylinder. The, uh, I suspect one of the previous owners had tried to replace the piston and made, made a new one, but he'd made it too well. <laughs> he'd uh, done, made, it, made the tolerances, clearances too, too small. So that uh, although it ran freely on air, as soon as it, uh, I put steam in it, piston expanded more than the cylinder and it just locked up solid. So I had to uh, get a bit of grinding paste and grind down the piston. But it works now. I have managed to acquire a replacement base. It's a genuine Warmar base but not for the same model. It has some extra holes but other than that it's the same size. And it is a genuine Warmar. The uh, the burner I managed to get every, um, a replica of, made by Dan Cordery, and a safety valve is another replica made by Kevin. I resoldered the pipework. and generally tidied it up and got it working. Very simple, very basic design. The whole assembly is 
fit to the base with that one nut and bolt there. Boiler is being actually inside that brass shroud. Which uh, improves the heating considerably. Clever idea. I don't know why other manufacturers don't do the same. So it just adds a few pence on to the cost of making it. Sitting on a bit of cloth there. Um, that's to uh, stop it because uh, it's going to vibrate completely out of the boiler, out of the firebox. Of course, when we stop them, still one is around, but at least it stays in, under the boiler now. 